In this video, I'll teach you how you can create an entire course inside ChatGPT with the help of prompt templates from Keywords Everywhere. So let's get started. Okay, so for us to create our course inside ChatGPT, we need to use the prompts from Keywords Everywhere. Okay, so go to keywordseverywhere.com and this is a browser add-on that you can install for Chrome and for Firefox. Okay, so the first step is for you to install Keywords Everywhere and the next step is for you to log in to your OpenAI account. Now with the Keywords Everywhere extension installed and turned on, you'll notice two new things in your chat GPT dashboard. The first thing is this templates button on the left hand side and the second thing is this continue button on the top right hand corner. So to get access to the course writing prompts, we need to click on this templates button. Now this opens up the chat GPT prompt templates widget. We then need to click on the category dropdown and click on copywriting. And for the subcategory, we're going to click on course writing. And these are all of the course writing templates that we will use to create our course. We first need to come up with an idea for our course. So we're going to click on the first template, course idea generator. Now you'll notice this widget expands for us to add additional information. We can choose from different languages. I'm going to click on English. We can also select from different voice tones. I'm going to click on authoritative and we can also choose from different writing styles. I'm going to click academic and now we need to add the industry we want course ideas for. So for this example, let's put down house flipping. We can also tell ChatGPT how many ideas we want it to generate. I'm going to leave it as 20 and we can also choose the education level for our course and you have all of these different education levels you can choose from. I want this course to be simple and for beginners so I'm going to click on primary. Okay so this is our completed prompt template. All the information we added up here automatically gets added to this template. As you can see it says respond only in the English language which we've selected up here. It also says you are an expert in the house flipping industry, which we've added here. It also says you have an authoritative tone of voice and also have an academic writing style, which we've selected. Now you can edit any words in this template if you wish, but this has been created and tested to generate really good course ideas for us. So I'm not going to edit this template whatsoever. Now I'm going to click on execute template. Okay, here we go. Within a few seconds, we have 20 course ideas around house flipping. The first one says, Introduction to House Flipping, a comprehensive guide. Next one says, Finding the perfect property, sourcing and evaluating potential flip projects. The next one is all about renovation fundamentals. And there's also one about market trends, budgeting, negotiation, and so on. So any of these 20 ideas I think could be great courses about house flipping. Now I want to touch on this continue button on the top right hand corner. Now if you hover over this button, you can see a list of different actions we can tell ChatGPT to do after it generated the first response. So we can tell ChatGPT to continue where it left off. We can tell it to clarify the response, to exemplify it, expand, explain, rewrite, shorten it, or even tweetify it. So let's just say we like these course ideas, but we want a little bit more information, right? We want more information to help us decide which course is the best one for us to teach. So I'm going to click on expand. Okay, so ChatGPT expanded on each of the course ideas. Let's take a look at the first one. Introduction to House Flipping, a comprehensive guide. So it provided this additional information. So it says explore the fundamental concepts of house flipping including its definition, benefits, and potential risks. Also, it says learn about the essential skills and knowledge required, and also understanding the different stages of house flipping and discovering the key factors to consider when selecting properties for flipping. So now you can review all of this additional information for each idea to help you figure out which is the best idea that you can run your course around. Okay, so now that we have our course ideas, let's go to the next template. So I'm going to click on this templates button and for the templates dropdown, I'm going to click on course outline generator. Now this template will create a course outline for us. So we can choose from different languages again different voice tones, and also different writing styles. I'm going to leave all of these as is. Next, we need to add our course topic. Now, let's move this widget a little lower, and 
Let's see, I really like this second idea, finding the perfect property, sourcing and evaluating potential flip projects. So I'm going to copy this idea and paste it right here. Then we need to add how many sessions we want this course outline to have. So I'm gonna say five sessions, this might be a shorter course, and also choose our education level. So I'm gonna keep it as primary. And this is our prompt template. This has all of the information that we added up here. And again, you can tweak the words in this template if you wish, but I'm not going to tweak it. I'm just gonna click on execute template. Okay, so we have an entire outline with five sessions for our course about finding the perfect property, sourcing, and evaluating potential flip projects. Now, each session is divided into different modules. So for the first session, it's titled Introduction to House Flipping and Property Evaluation. And there's three modules. The first one is Understanding House Flipping. The next one is Identifying Potential Flip Projects. And then lastly, Property Evaluation Basics and ChatGPT also provided activities for each one of these three modules. And then this one is the second session, Market Analysis and Property Inspection, with three additional modules and activities for each one. And this is the third one, fourth one, and fifth one. So now we have an entire outline for our course in just a few minutes. Okay, so let's continue and go to the next prompt template. So I'm gonna click on this Templates button, and for the Templates dropdown, I'm gonna click on Complete Course Lesson. Okay, so now this is where we are really building out our course. Now you can choose from different languages, different voice tones, and also different writing styles. And I'm gonna put our course topic right here and add our course lesson that we want ChatGPT to create for us. So let's add the first one here, Introduction to House Flipping and Property Evaluation. I'm gonna put that right there. We can tell it how many modules we want this lesson to have. I'm gonna put five, and this is our completed prompt template. Now I'm gonna click on Execute Template. Okay, so our first lesson is fully built out with five different modules. So for this lesson plan, Introduction to House Flipping and Property Evaluation, ChatGPT provided the learning outcome for us. So it says, by the end of this lesson, students will be able to understand the concept of house flipping and apply property evaluation criteria to identify potential flip projects. Perfect. It also suggested a duration of 90 minutes, and these are the different modules. And this is information about the introduction, so it says, engage students by asking questions like, have you ever heard of house flipping, or what do you think it means to flip a house? Provide a brief overview of the course and its objectives, and also share real-world examples. The next one says, understanding house flipping, and ChatGPT says it should be about 20 minutes and this is information about this module. The next one is identifying potential flip projects, which is 30 minutes. This is the fourth one and the fifth module. And they also provided a wrap up and expansion section and a conclusion. And I really like these discussion questions. So you can ask these questions to start a discussion with your students and also some expansion ideas as well. Okay, so now that we have this complete, let's go to the next template. Let's click on this templates button. And for the templates dropdown, I'm gonna click on Course Assignment Generator. So after you've created all of your lesson plans in your course, we need assignments for our students. So this is a template for that. So we can choose from different languages again, different voice tones and different writing styles. And I'm gonna put our course topic right here. Then we need to add how many assignments we want. So I'm gonna leave it as 10. And also the education level, I'm gonna leave it as primary. And this is our prompt template and click on Execute Template. Okay, here we go. We have our assignments for our course and it's organized in this really nice table. So for assignment number one, exploring house flipping. This is the description. Conduct independent research on house flipping and create a short presentation to share with ideas. Include information on the definition of house flipping, its benefits, potential risks, present your findings and engage in a class discussion. And this is the second assignment, the third one, and so on. Now it looks like it stopped at the seventh assignment. So let's say we want more assignments so we can click on the please continue button. Okay, and it provided more assignments for us and we can even click on continue generating and it will finish the response. Okay, so now you have all of these assignments you can have your students complete for your house flipping course. Okay, so these are all of the course writing templates I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. 
And if you want to check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.